Well, hello everyone. I hope things are good with you today. Today I'm a little bit aggravated. I'm sitting here impatiently waiting for Amazon to bring me my new red fan to replace this blue one because the last red fan that I was bought to replace this fan, I put in the system and decided to keep the blue one. And after I got it fixed, I started hearing this. The fan started rattling its shot, so I'm just going to put a second red fan in there. So I'm aggravated. But you know what else aggravates me, to be quite honest? Microsoft. But you know what else aggravates me, to be quite honest? Microsoft. All right, let's go to our center panel. All right, I got a blank screen up here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a policy to turn off Windows Copilot so it doesn't show me. Windows keeps telling me. Uh, I'm a very bad man, Jerry. No soup for you. You can't have any Windows 11 because of the uh, trusted install chip that they have to have. The board has to support that, which will only if they turn it on. I think that they're going to be able to verify software a little bit better. But at the same time, they could also potentially block you from using software they don't like later down the road so i'm a little irritated with that plus down here in the bottom let's make that full screen down here in the bottom i keep finding windows copilot show up here all right and that aggravates me just a little bit because i don't want ai the copilot ai to show up there i just do not have that so we're going to go into the registry we're going to create two policies if they don't already exist and we're going to stop telemetry the data reporting that goes back to microsoft and we're going to stop copilot from popping up on the machine now here's the thing these are just policies and window is in control over your machine so next time they do an upload they might just fix that for you and delete your two policies so that they can put copilot right back down here on that bottom corner which i find annoying so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to your little box because this is windows 10 we're not in the center of the screen so we're going to go down here and we're going to type in registry editor reg and see i've already been in here so it pops up for me the word is registry editor it should show you this tetris looking cube so we want to go ahead and click on that it's going to ask us do we want to install because of my security settings and now i have it up and running we'll close that down we're going to go all the way to the top. This may or may not be expanded. If it's not expanded, go down to the second entry, H key current user. We want to hit the right bracket there. What do you want to call the, the uh, greater than? Hit that. We open up. We want to come down to we see software. We want to expand that one. We want to come down to we see policies. Let me readjust this for us. We want to we see policies. We want to hit that greater than. Come and hit Microsoft. Expand Microsoft. Find Windows. Expand Windows. Now we're going to have policies. These are inside of the policies. Now I've got two created right here, and I'll show you how to create one, but I just want to show you since it's already done. Data collection, spelled as no spaces with data and collection capitalized. That's going to be your new D word that we're going to, or your new key over here. So we're going to create that data collection and then we'll come over and inside of data collection we'll come over and we'll it'll be blank so we'll hit new and as you see down at the bottom we'll do d word 32 value we'll click that and by default this allow telemetry capital a and capital t register d word 32 bit should be zero if it's not zero make it zero we'll click on it i'll show you with the next one windows copilot all right, policy for Windows Copilot. Windows spelled just like Windows and Copilot, C-O-P-I-L-O-T, C and W are capitalized. And we want to create a new D word over here that says just the same way, new D word. We we'll do it that way if it's not already set. And it's turn off Windows Copilot. That's our policy. We we'll turn off Windows Copilot. T, O, W, and C are capitalized. We'll have to click on it, double click it, and set that value to one because we're telling it, yes, we want to turn off Windows Copilot. Down here where we had data collection, we gave it a zero because we don't want to allow data collection. So it, now that's enough of that. Now we got to show you if you didn't have a key in this location, how we would create one, we're fixing to do it. Let me show you. So now we're under Windows. 
with our arrow on Windows, not letting it slip, we're going to hit New and Key. And see, it says New Key. I'm just going to leave that there because I'm not. I'm going to go over here and make a fake D word. So you would keep your little pointer, your mouse pointer, on your Windows when you make the key. All right. Now you would come down to the key, and we're going to go over here and New. We're going to add a D word. All right. See, now we have a new D word 32. See how it defaulted to zero. And if we needed to change it to one, we would make that one here. Just type a one there. Go ahead and click it in. Now we do this. I'm going to delete this because I already have my two policies for data collection and Windows Copilot. So I can go ahead and delete this like that, making sure I'm only on the new key. And that's what we have to do to make the keys there in the policies for copilot and data collection for your sending your your telemetry back to microsoft if you want to do so now let's go back and look at one last little time all right now one of the things i want to do is if i sit on policies windows all right go to my or policies microsoft go to windows we can export this key all right so we can export this key as a reg file and i would just leave it in its default location of system 32 and i would say uh, policy windows Oop, i've got my caps lock on sorry people now that's just a quick name i could give it a date now we say save now, what we can also do now that we have it, we can import that key. So, say Microsoft decides they don't like us turning off Copilot and they don't want us turning off telemetry. They turn it back on, turn both of them back on. What we can do is go back in and re-import that. We would go to File. We would go to Import. We'll go down, oh, System32. We're going to slide down and find our reg file. There it is. Here's the one I had done previously. This is the entire registry to make a backup of your registry. But this is the one we just now created, Windows Policies Reg. And if you click that and you hit open, it will import it back in that same spot. So you will restore your registry keys and you don't have to remember what is the syntax. Is it allow or disallow or whatever that you can go ahead and set that up and take a little bit more control over your Windows-based computers because, quite honestly, seeing Copilot show up when I didn't ask for it, that's annoying. You can also turn off Cortana if you want to do that as well. You can look at that in your settings. I think you can do that from settings. So I'm going to cut it off here and hope you have a bright and glorious day. Thank you. If you like this content, please go to calldellodicell.com, find the tab that says on YouTube, click it, and it'll open up a page of QR codes. There you can use a smartphone to scan and get to the YouTube page, or you can just mouse over and click it on a PC. There you'll be able to subscribe to this little button over here and click the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you. Thank you.